Okay, so here we have some Punnett squares um, for lethal alleles. Now, normally, when we think about alleles, we think of two possible phenotype outcomes. So if you have dominant alleles, um, one or two, you get the dominant phenotype. And if you have recessive alleles, you need to have two, you get the recessive phenotype. But in this instance, there's actually three possible outcomes from the combination of alleles. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. So first we've got two recessive alleles, so this is the genotype, and the outcome or the phenotype is a hairy dog. And here we have one dominant allele and one recessive, so this is the heterozygote, right? So the outcome or the phenotype is a Mexican hairless dog. And then we have a third combination. So normally we think if we have the dominant allele, we doesn't matter if we have one or two, we're going to get the dominant phenotype. But that's not always true. Um, that's what part of this chapter, is, or most of this chapter is about, is what are the exceptions? So here's an exception. So here we have homozygous dominant. So we have two dominant alleles, and this is actually a lethal allele combination. So there are some crosses down here and some Punnett squares. So here they're crossing a heterozygote with a heterozygote. And so we're going to get the same genotype ratio as normal. Um, so when you cross two heterozygotes, you get one homozygous dominant, you get two heterozygotes and you get one homozygous recessive and so um, you get a one to two to one genotype ratio and in this instance that also happens to be the phenotype ratio um, so we get a one to two to one phenotype ratio um, with one out of four um, having the lethal leo combination and so one out of four, what they have here, one quarter die as embryos. So that would be the lethal allele combination. Okay, and then they have another cross down here. So here we have a heterozygote crossed with a homozygous recessive. And so here we have our Punnett square over here. And in this instance, they're all going to survive. Um, so we end up with two heterozygotes and two homozygous recessive, which is a one-to-one -one ratio, or as they have over here, half are Mexican hairless, these, and half are hairy, and we have none with the lethal allele combination of homozygous dominant. So this is an example of allele combinations that are really different than what we've learned about so far. They don't follow Mendel's laws that we've talked about, and we're gonna look at some more. All right, we're done.